Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an empties video. As you can see from my thumbnail, my little pail that I collect all my empties is overflowing. We have a lot of stuff here to go through. I'm gonna start off with my makeup empties because I find that's the most interesting. And then we'll go through skincare, hair care, and all the random stuff. I do have quite a few empties that I've never shared in an empties before. So if you watch my empties regularly, you will see a bunch of new things in here, which I find really interesting to see what people actually use up. I'll let you know what work what didn't typically when I use something up it works out for me but there are the rare occasions that I'm just forcing myself to use something <laughs> but we're gonna jump right into makeup starting off with a couple foundations actually let's go there first so I have two foundations I used up this month the first being the NARS natural radiant Longwear foundation I think this is the second one that I've been through and I have the shade Vanuatu which is medium 3.5 I love this for glam makeup days. It looks so beautiful on the skin and does have a radiant finish, but it's perfecting, which is hard to find with certain foundations that do offer radiance or glow. They tend to emphasize my texture, but I do find this one to be quite perfecting, which is why I reach for it and obviously used it up. The next foundation is Drugstore and actually a little bit more skin-like. I love this one, but it's hard to find certain places. You can get this in Canada and it's the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation, but the one with hyaluronic acid. I think they relaunched this in the US. I haven't been able to see the one with the white cap yet. True Match is one of those beautiful lines that truly match every skin tone. They do undertones quite well. And this just sits so beautifully on the skin. And at the end of the day, when I remove this from my face, my skin actually feels better having worn it. So that's why I really like this one. I actually feel like it benefits my skin using it with that hyaluronic acid. I feel like it gives that extra plumpness to my skin, the hydration that I'm personally looking for. And the color is always spot on. So I use the shade 4W, which is golden natural. And I do want to repurchase this. I want to repurchase the NARS one too, but you guys know me and complexion I have so many that I love that I'm going to try and use up a few more before I repurchase anything. And I do have two concealers, which I've repurchased countless times. The first being the Kosas concealer. This is also a daytime eye cream, which is why I reach for it because I love that added hydration and just that added skincare benefit to it. Typically, I'm not a huge fan of skincare makeup. I like to do my skincare separately, but this is one of those ones that I feel like I can't get enough <laughs> for underneath my eye. It doesn't matter if I apply eye cream in the morning, at night, if I'm going to apply eye cream during the day in a concealer, my eyes just can't get enough <laughs> of the moisture. So I really, really like this one. And unfortunately, for whatever reason, I recently purchased 4N again, and it's so much darker. Let me go find it for you guys. It's a noticeable difference. This is supposed to be 4N. It's way, way darker. Do you see that? How dark this one is compared to my original? So it doesn't match me anymore. I don't know what I'm gonna do, try and figure out my shade because this was perfect. And I've never had this issue before. It doesn't make any sense to me why they would do that. So Kosas, if you're watching or if anyone uses the shade 4N and have noticed a change in the shade, please let me know because it's quite noticeable. And I cannot use this one now. So I think I'm gonna have to return it and figure out a new shade. I don't want to though. Is it just a bad batch? Did they mislabel the 4N? I really wanna know what happened there. I ran out of my favorite face primer and it's the one by Huda Beauty, the Glowish line. This is the Blur Jam primer. It has a really cool consistency and one that I feel like is just really nice for all over the face for hydration but texture. So if you have a drier complexion like myself and need something that's smoothing, but oftentimes for pore filling or texture smoothing products, they're mattifying. This one is more hydrating cooling, which I feel like is perfect for those with my skin type. And that's why I keep reaching for it. It's just one of my favorite products. I know people with oily skin who still love this too, but I feel like this is best suited for people with my skin type. And I cannot get enough of this. I've already repurchased it. If you've seen my Sephora sale haul video, I had to get another one of those. The best brow gel always and forever is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Love this stuff. It locks down my hairs on my face and I just cannot get enough of this. I know my brows aren't gonna move. When I use this, I love the brush. I think that's what sells me on this too. The formula is amazing, but also the brush. You can lay down your hairs and comb them out quite nicely with it. Perfect brush, perfect formula. 
Everything about this is just perfection. And then for brow pencils, I have three here to mention. I had a sample of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Have the shade Soft Brown here and literally such a perfect color. I'm tempted to get this in the full size just for the color for my hair. I really liked it. I actually just tinted and laminated my brows. So they look a little bit dark for me right now, but I did try to do a little at home lamination and tint. Turned out really nicely so that when I don't wear makeup, my brows actually look existent on my face, but it is slightly dark right now. So I'm just waiting for it to lighten. I actually haven't washed them yet. And then also for the color, the price and the formula, I love the Refi one. And this is the medium shade. It's a really nice thin pencil and I purchased this because I love the Huda Beauty one but the price tag is just so high. This one is really tiny, not as teeny tiny as the Huda Beauty but still on the tinier side of brow pencils. Very precise and the price is right compared to how much you get in here so that's why I like purchasing that. But my all time holy grail, you already know, is the NYX Micro Brow and I have the shade Brunette in this. I go through these so fast, obviously not as fast because I tried to use up some other ones, but I always have this on hand, already have a backup of that. Then Risa Does Makeup did a collaboration with BK Beauty and I fell in love with these lashes. I even have these with another pair that I stack. I just love these ones so much. They are the Day Club lashes. I'm wearing a pair today. I've gone through several of these already. I literally always wear these. I think they're so pretty. So if you haven't checked out the Risa Does Makeup collaboration with BK Beauty, definitely do so. I will have them linked below. They're one of my go-to lashes and the most questions I get are when I have Day Club and the Martini ones stacked. That's when you see that really heavy outer corner. That's these with the addition of the outer corner lash on that and I always get questions. So Day Club and Martini, Day Club for sure is my number one lash. And then a little mini setting spray. I can't find this though. I wanted to purchase it, but it's not on Sephora. So maybe they had this for a brief period of time and they no longer have it, but it's the Tatcha the Satin Skin Mist. I have the dewy one, but I really love this satin one and I can't find it. Have to look on Tatcha's website maybe, but please bring this back if you discontinued it or if it's just not available on Sephora Canada for some reason, but I loved this stuff. So yes, please bring that back to me. <laughs> and then that's all for makeup. I do have quite a bit of skincare. I recently fell in love with the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I wasn't using a facial oil prior to introducing this into my skincare and boy did my skin love a facial oil. I've gone through stages of using facial oils, but I haven't for quite some time. So introducing this one specifically because I've never used Marula oil was just a game changer for my skin. It literally eats it up and loves it. And the glow that this gives is just out of this world. I love it so much. And I can tell on days when I skip this, this just works for my skin. And I know the price tag is high. I still wanna try out the ordinary one that's supposed to be a dupe for it. However, I think I have to get that on the Ordinary website because they don't have it on Swift 4 Canada because I did check <laughs> for that, but love this so much. And then another Drunk Elephant product is their Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. I love this too. I don't think I've tried a Drunk Elephant product that I don't like or that doesn't agree with my skin. And I do have sensitive skin. So I did really like this one. I'm currently using a Polish Choice Vitamin C Eye Cream though, but I did like this. I'm just trying to use up other things, but I would consider repurchasing this in the future. I already have another one of these on the go and a backup as well. One of my favorite eye creams, and this was just a mini sample. I have purchased the full size, used up a full size, and then I have a backup of another full size of it. This is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. I really do feel like this makes a difference in the fine lines and just the quality of my skin around my eyes. So that's why I keep repurchasing this. I'm keeping this little mini though for travel. I like to keep the minis of the Glow Recipe that I purchased because I use so much of their skincare and then I can just take their eye cream on the go. And then two more Glow Recipe products because I'm obsessed. <laughs> this is no shocker to you because I've literally gone through five, six. I honestly have lost count. I round to a number that I think I've gone through, but this is the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum. I literally always need this in my skincare routine because I feel like this keeps my skin barrier in check, keeps the redness at bay, and just makes my skin less sensitive. So this is why I love it and always have to have it on hand. And then also have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. This is the second one I've gone through. This is really nice as a 
pre-makeup kind of glow to the skin, add some hydration. I think this really mixes nicely with the Drunk Elephant de Bronzy Drops. I know people mix that with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, the Proteiny. I really love it with this product. I think it just blends so seamlessly and the two formulas just go together perfectly. So that's kind of what I had been using that for just to mix in with the Drunk Elephant. A really nice cleansing balm that I always keep in my shower is from the Inky List. It's really affordable, great for sensitive skin and just super effective at breaking down your makeup. It is the Oat Cleansing Balm, again, multiples you've seen these in videos before but always have this on hand i also finished my skin fix barrier plus triple lipid peptide cream and i just saved the refill jar which i still cannot get to work in the container i've had multiple people reach out and try to help me with that but i feel like the seal is broken on it and the refill just hasn't been able to work. So that's kind of upsetting. I don't wanna buy refills for those pumps, those air pumps, if the pump doesn't work. I always have issue with air pump products. <laughs> I just would never create a product with anything to do with an air pump. I just hate them so much. They never work. And the times that they do work, it's for not very long. <laughs> So this, I did really love. This is so nice if maybe you've messed up your skin barrier like I did. I just used too many skincare products and my skin barrier was freaking out. I cut back, went on a skincare diet, which was just cutting out basically every step in my skincare except for cleansing and moisturizing. And this is what really helped. I just used this as a moisturizer and I can't say enough good things about it. I could use it morning, night. I didn't find it too heavy. Just really went into my skin nicely and just helped soothe my irritated skin. So highly recommend. Another cleansing balm that I used, and this is really similar to the Pharmacy Green Clean. This is the Farm X Super Greens Nourishing Cleansing Balm. Really nice big tub. I think I got this sent to me from Avon, but it was really nice. It's like a dupe for the pharmacy one. Use that all up. And I love cleansing balms as the first step in my makeup removal because they just really break down the makeup. And then this I had for a while, but I just used it prior to self tanning. It's delectable. I got this as a sample made in Canada. I thought it was the brand Cake, but it doesn't say that on here. Anyways, it's supposed to be a triple moisture body lotion, has a coconut and cream scent, smelled really good. I just thought this paired nicely with some of my self tanners. So I just finished it just in the areas that I needed some extra moisture prior to self tanning. I wouldn't repurchase that again, just because for moisturizers for me, I really haven't found one that I would repurchase over and over. I'm just always testing out new ones. And then the last thing I have here, also I always have to have on hand, and this is from Garnier, and this was their collaboration with Costco. They came out with this giant size, and I used it all up. It's their micellar water, and this is an all-in-one, cleanses and removes makeup, soothes, no rinsing, it's good for face, eyes, lips, normal and sensitive skin, no alcohol, no fragrance. It's just a fantastic micellar water. I love Bioderma too, but honestly, I always reach for my Garnier and they have one that is for waterproof makeup as well, which I would purchase over this one. I just happen to have this on hand. Still really good, but I do like the blue one the best if I were to pick one. And I definitely need a Costco size of this again because I use this every single night when I'm removing my eye makeup with reusable cotton rounds. I have a bunch that I have for using this product. And then I have four sunless tanners. <laughs> Apparently I was holding on to the last little bits of these and then just use them all up at once. But let's start with one of the products that I literally always have to use and I have a specific use for this. It is from Bondi Sands. It is their liquid gold self tanning dry oil. And this is so good if you have dry skin in the winter. I will honestly just use this all over my body, but for the most part, this specifically, I just use on my hands and I will spray it on a brush and then just buff it into my hands because my hands are always so dry and I just can't put a mousse on my hands. I'll still go 10 times darker than my body. So I love to use a dry oil like this on the really dry parts of my body. I don't get that clinging and it looks super natural love this stuff so much. So this lasts me forever because for the most part, I do just use it on my hands, but in the winter, if I'm really feeling dry, I'm going to reach for an oil and it works so lovely on my skin. I had this for a while and I really love the undertone of it. It is from B Tan. I believe you can get this on Amazon. They're fairly affordable. Haven't been able to find this exact one because I would repurchase this. It's love at first tan. 
and it is a darker one hour self tan mousse with a violet base. If you go orange with self tanner, you won't with this one. The violet cancels out any orange tones. Really, really beautiful color and undertone if you have issue with going orange. So I would recommend this. Good price point too. Again, I just haven't been able to find this one. And this one doesn't smell too bad either. So I did really like this and it wore really nicely. My favorite self tanner if I want my darkest self tan possible is the Sosu Susan Jackson Dripping Gold Luxury Tanning Ultra Dark Mousse. This stuff is no joke. This is if you want your deepest, deepest tan. I wish this wasn't so hard to get a hold of though in Canada, because I always wait for a sale on Beauty Bay and then purchase them there, but also I get duties from Beauty Bay, so yeah, I have to have a really good sale to warrant me stocking up on this. And currently I don't have any on hand, <laughs> though I would absolutely love to have a backup of this because sometimes I do want that deep tan for the beach, the summer, whatever. I really, really love that tan. And then the one that I use the most often is actually the most affordable and it's from Jergens. It's their Instant Sun and it's currently on sale on Amazon Canada. You can get it under $9. So this is the ultra deep bronze. They don't have ultra deep bronze in the US, I don't think. They have deep bronze, but we have ultra deep bronze. So I always go for the darkest one just because that matches my natural tan coloring more. I go even deeper in the sun, but I like to avoid the sun. <laughs> I do tan quite easily. This one I reach for because it doesn't have that traditional self tanner smell. It dries really nice and fast and I like to sleep in my tan so I don't like feeling sticky or uncomfortable. This one dries nice and fast. The color is really nice and this one is really moisturizing. So I do, as you know, have dry skin, especially all over my body. My face hasn't been too dry lately. I would consider my facial skin normal, but my body skin, even in the summer, I'm always dry. And this is just nice that it won't cling to my skin and it won't make me itchy because a lot of times with mousses, it will just be drying and then I'll feel itchy and I absolutely hate it. Just hate self tanning then. But this one is really nice for my dry skin, good color. Ultra dark in this compared to ultra deep in this, there is no comparison. This is the darkest you'll ever find. I've tried like literally every self tanner, but this is my most repurchased one. We have some hair products that I went through here. This was a sad one and I haven't repurchased it because of the price. It's the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. I really love this stuff. I think it does work for my hair. You really have to rub your hands together with the product. Make sure it's gone to a creamy consistency. You can see it white on your hands before you put it in your hair because I know some people haven't been using it correctly and don't see the results that they're looking for. This gives me results. And again, I haven't repurchased it because of the price. I just wish it wasn't so pricey, but I do have other products that kind of work similarly to this that I wanna use up before I use this. So that's the only reason why I haven't repurchased it price and I just have other things I'm using so that I don't waste because <laughs> hair product is one of those things that I really don't need to purchase unless I'm repurchasing. But again, I have things that kind of mimic that, that I don't need currently. This I already repurchased during the Sephora sale and it's the Orbe Gold Lust Transformative Mask. This leaves my hair softer than any other hair product mask any hair product that I've ever used. This gives my softest feeling and looking hair. There's nothing that compares to this for my hair. This does magic for my hair. I picked up the mini, fell in love with it and went back for the full size during the sale because the sale previous, I picked up the mini to try out. It is that good. It is worth every penny to me. That's another reason why I haven't picked up this because I just need to use this Orbe if I want my best looking hair softest, softest, most manageable, beautiful looking hair I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I love that product so much. And then I used up the Olaplex number no. four bond maintenance shampoo. And I wouldn't repurchase this. I was only using it to mix in with my purple shampoo from Olaplex to give it more, I was gonna say froth, but that's not the word. I'm like drinking a Starbucks and it's like frothy right now. Suds, suds is a better word than froth <laughs> in the hair. Anyways. I wouldn't repurchase it, nothing wrong with this. I just have other shampoos that I honestly just like more. So that's the only reason why. Try to use up product and find a use for it. I thought it worked perfectly with 
the purple shampoo from Olaplex because they did suggest mixing it with this if you want a little bit more suds. And then one of my favorite hair care companies, and this is a fantastic line for color treated hair, damaged hair. This is from Kerastase and it's the Chroma Absolute. And it says for sensitive or damaged color treated fine to medium hair, which is exactly my hair. And I love, actually this isn't the shampoo. Is it? Kerastase is so hard to figure out what's the shampoo or conditioner <laughs> on their products. This was their conditioner. So I used up their conditioner. I think I used up the shampoo last month. Yeah, it's the packaging that makes it the conditioner. I got it. All right, so I do have the more intensive hair mask in this, which I've been using and really enjoying. So I haven't repurchased the conditioner yet. I do have a nice big size of the shampoo. It's one of the hairlines that I'm still using and really, really love it. Love the Chrono Legis line. Love this Chroma Absolute since I went blonde, not blonde, but blonde highlights. And then Kristen S as a whole brand, I'm obsessed with her products. You can get them in Target in the US, well.ca in Canada is where I picked up mine. And this is the signature finishing hairspray for all hair types, multitasking, brushable finish, style setting, medium hold. And that's what I liked about this is that you can brush it out after and it's not gonna leave your hair feeling any sort of way, but also holds the hair. Good smell, love the packaging, simplicity of it. I, again, haven't found a Kristen S product that I don't like. I think she makes fantastic, affordable hair care products. Also for hair, I slept with heatless curls last night and my hair is just setting and going kind of flatter and flatter. I didn't really put any product in it, but I love how it turned out. I definitely wanna do heatless curls more often and just test it out different techniques but I really like what I did last night I like this kind of loose not so tight style just a little bit of a bend and curl in the hair and I didn't have to do any work I literally slept on my hair last night I love it now for my random products I do have my kiss nails does this shock you I went through two frosting which is the white one that I love and then pick me pink you guys know I love the natural nail. I did these with Gel X, these nails right here, but these ones I typically use the Kiss, but I just ran out, so I tried to do my own nails with Gel X, and I think I did a really good job. Anyways, this is the Bare But Better nails. I really like this cool line, the Bare But Better. You guys know I love the simplicity in the nails, and I just like things to always be able to match, so I'm always in like a pink, a white, a French, that's just what I like on my nails. And then I went through a candle from Forever Mood. This is the Pheromones. I used this up around Valentine's Day, I think, and accidentally burnt it all the way down. <laughs> I actually used up another candle and did the same thing, and then it exploded because I am neglectful when I'm burning a candle, and I really need to be better about that. So please never burn your candle for longer than a few hours, and always be mindful of candle burning. <laughs> Do not be like me. But that one was really nice. The One's in this color, which I did have another one to share with you before it exploded, um, are my favorite ones from Forever Mood. So definitely check those ones out. The Champagne Wasted is my number one ever from Forever Mood, but the whole line that came out for Valentine's Day a couple years ago, I think it was at this point now, best line they've ever done. Then I used up a Bath and Body Works Pink Pineapple Sunrise Sand and Sea Salt Body Scrub. This was just nice to get off my tan. Super messy though, and then stuck to my shower a little bit. So I didn't really like the formula in that sense. <laughs> it was good for my body, not for my shower. I wouldn't purchase that again. And then I have two sunscreens. This is my favorite one for my kids, especially my daughter who has red hair, very light skin, super sensitive to the sun. And I use this sunscreen ever since both of them were babies and I still repurchase it. It is the Think Baby SPF 50 Plus. It's a mineral based sunscreen with 20% zinc oxide. And I really like this because it doesn't smell like traditional sunscreen as well as the ingredients are incredible for your babies, your kids. And it smells like orange creamsicle. It honestly is the best smelling sunscreen I've ever smelt. It is very thick though. You really have to spend time like rubbing this into the skin, but it's what I feel comfortable using on my kids and absolutely love that. And then for me, I have this and this is oxybenzone free because they did have an issue with that. And this is from Neutrogena. It's their ultra sheer body mist sunscreen. It's SPF 60. And for quick application on myself, I do use a spray. If I'm gonna initially put on sunscreen, I will go in with something like this, but if I need to reapply at least to myself, I will have a spray on hand just to get that protection on my skin. 
but it's kind of like a last resort sort of thing now. I don't use them all the time. And then the last thing that I have is my toothpaste, which I always talk about in these videos, but it's the Colgate Optic White. I had this one because it was on sale, but I usually always get the Optic White Renewal, which is supposed to remove 10 years of yellow stains from your teeth. This is all I use for teeth whitening. I always get questions about my teeth and I mention this in every single empties. This is literally the only thing I use <laughs> is brushing and flossing, regular dental checkups at my dentist. This is all I use and I love it. Keeping my teeth nice and white. It's the best whitening toothpaste I've ever used and I've been using it literally since it released. The first one that I ever got was like inside a Forever 21 package or something random like that. It came with my clothes as like a sample and I've never looked back since. And that was very, very long ago. Literally when it first came out, I haven't used anything since. So that is my favorite toothpaste. And that is everything for my empties video. This is forever long, but such a good one. So many absolute favorites in here. And I am gonna look into this Kosas issue because that is an issue for me. And I really wanna know what happened there. <laughs> that is it for this empties video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'd love to know what your absolute favorites are, what your most repurchased products are in the comment section below, or if you've used any of the things that I love, I'd absolutely love to know your thoughts as well. So thank you guys for spending some time with me today. If you haven't already, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next one.